Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here or if you're new to Revit, that's perfect. We share tips and tricks to help architects and drafters get the most out of their design tools. Today, we're diving into something essential for every Revit user, how to create your very own custom parametric title block. This is key in saving time and automating project data and keeping your sheets consistent and professional. If you want to skip straight to the tutorial, jump to this timestamp. But of course, before we start, let's quickly go over what a title block actually is. Is. A title block is a standardized information panel you see on every drawing sheet. It typically shows a project name, sheet number, the day, scale, and who worked on it. It helps keep your documentation organized and professional, especially when collaborating or submitting to your clients. Setting it up correctly from the beginning ensures your drawing stays consistent across the entire project. Okay, that explains it. Let's get into it. So to start, open Revit and head to File, click New, then to Family, and in the dialog box, scroll down until you find the Title Blocks category. Revit includes standard sizes like A1, A2, and A3. Choose the one that fits your workflow, or select New Size if you're working on a custom sheet. For this example, I'll use the A3 metric template, which is great for smaller sets or presentations. Once it loads, you'll see a blank rectangle. That's your sheet outline. This is where we'll build the structure of your title block. Creating a title block in Revit uses 2D drafting tools, not 3D modeling. So head to the Create tab and use the Line tool to draw the outer border and internal divisions. You can also use Trim, Extend, and Fillet for clean corners and organized sections. Now, think about what information you'll need. Project name, client address, sheet number, revisions, and so on. Organize these visually by drawing boxes or separating areas to help with clarity later on. Pro tip, keep hierarchy in mind. Group related info together and use space to guide the reader's eyes across the sheet. Here's where the real power of Revit kicks in. Parametric labels. Click label from the Create Lab, then click on your sheet where you want the dynamic text to appear. The edit label dialog will pop up. From here, share parameters like project name, sheet number, drawn by, and scale, wherever fields you need. Of course, you can add other information as well, but once you're done, hit add then OK. Now, drag and resize the label. You can align it left to right or center in the properties panel and tweak the text style by clicking edit type. For this, we recommend duplicating the type if you're creating a custom font style to keep things consistent. These labels will pull info directly from your project or sheet properties. So once your title block is in the project, Revit will fill them in automatically. No need to type them twice. For information that doesn't change like drawn by or date, use the text instead of label. Click create, then head over to text, then place and type your static labels to clarify what each field represents. This helps ensure that your blocks is easy to read, especially for teams or consultations jumping into your drawings. Now that you're done with that, let's add a professional touch, your company logo. Go to insert, then image, then browse for your logo file. Once you find it, place it on your sheet. If you can't find it, you can always draw a temporary shape like a rectangle or a circle to help with alignment. Then, once you're ready, delete it once the logo is in place. Resize and position it so it looks balanced with the rest of the layout. Another pro tip is make sure your logo file is high res and preferably in PNG format with a transparent background. Now that we've set up your title block, why don't we test it out? Click Load into Project and open any sheet within your Revit file. In the Sheet Properties panel, change the title block to your new one. 
If you've done everything right, your parametric label should now pull in live data from your project info. If not, and you need to change something, go to Manage, then head over to Project Information to edit global fields like, like project name, client, or author. Then, for sheet-specific fields like sheet number or sheet name, just right-click the sheet in your project browser and rename it. Your title block will instantly update like that. And this is where the time saving really happens. All right, so before wrapping up, here are a few quick tips to polish your title block. Use the annotate tab for extra detailed lines, text, or symbols if needed. Keep fonts and line weights consistent for a clean, professional look. Also, save your title block family in a shared location for your team access. If you're managing multiple versions like different clients and offices, consider making a few variations with unique logos or layouts. Investing time into a solid title block saves hours down the line, especially on multi-sheet projects. And that's it. You built your own custom parametric title block in Revit from start to finish. Wonder what else you can do? Go ahead and check our Revit playlist on our YouTube channel to learn more and even learn how to model full home. If this helped you out, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Revit tips and drafting strategies. If you have any questions that you want us to cover, drop them in the comments and they may be our next video. Thanks for watching and as always, happy drafting!